Many called it impossible, but to these dedicated workers, nothing is impossible, as the countdown for the construction of a new children's home is on. After the devastation of the original home for the kids, Nisi House, by Hurricanes Hannah and Ike last year, a group of 17 professionals came up with a plan. They call themselves the Provo Children's Home Bill Group, and after talks with government, found a piece of property to start construction of the new home. But they also gave themselves a speedy deadline. Um, we actually started construction. We gave ourselves a six-month deadline, which everybody said it couldn't be done, but we said it had to be done because the temporary accommodation at that point, at the end of this month, uh, literally disappears. The project, according to Forbes, is right on target. But with government financial woes, the organization will continue fundraising events to cover loans and the running of the home. There isn't a lot of money uh, to be had right now, unfortunately, with the government and the situation they're in, um, to help with running this home. And that was the initial agreement, was that they would help with the, they would pay the salaries of the staff and they would pay for the food and the utilities and the gas for the uh, vehicles, things like that. So because we know it's very difficult for them and they're trying to help us as much as possible, we will continue uh, fundraising. The operation of the home will require community involvement and volunteers to spend a few hours helping the kids with homework, school projects, or even teaching a child how to cook a dish is a plus. Getting people to help out like that would be a wonderful thing. And, and the thing is, is that if we can get it on a regular basis, then that really is something that can be depended upon. And that will help those caregivers an awful lot. Also known as a safe harbor for kids, the Provo Children's Home will house the orphaned, children who have been abused mentally, physically, and sexually, and have been removed for their own safety. This spacious home will have a computer and library area, gas washers, dryers and stoves, 10 children's bedrooms, four caregiver suites, and two overnight emergency rooms. Other amenities include a big screen porch, a play area, courtyard, and the children are in walking distance to the Sapadilla Beach. For WIV4 News, I'm Takara Bain.